So hello everyone, welcome back. Now let us start problem number 5.17 of Griffith Electrodynamics. It says a large parallel plate capacitor with uniform surface charge sigma on the upper plate and minus sigma on the lower one is moving with constant velocity v and the, we need to find magnetic field between the plates above and below them. So let's draw the figure first of all. So the figure is like this. figure is somewhat like this so if we if we calculate magnetic field as we know that uh, magnetic field for an infinite uh, infinite sheet it, it, it is given by mu naught k by 2 where k is the surface uh, uh, charge density surface charge density so um, where uh, k is given as i d l i hope you know that D A D S you can say that because or, or D L because surface because in in current we write I D S uh, for volume charge density and for surface charge density we write I D K or uh, I is equal to K D L so that's why and for uh, suppose for a uh, for above the plates or you can say that for above these uh, sheets we we write it as uh, Z cap and for below it mu naught k by k cap i should write so minus z cap for below all right i can, i'll write a here and b below a b yeah so this we know that i i hope you have uh, uh, watched the example or uh, gone through the previous pages of griffith's electrodynamics it, it it's it helps us to remember this so mu naught k by 2 so and it, it can easily be proved if you if you want me to do that because as we know that b dot dl is equal to uh, mu naught i we very well know that and for two sheets or you can say that uh, between two sheets b b dot dl is just if we if we consider a, a, a loop so it will be b dot dl from here also b dot dl from here so we will get to b dot dl and mu naught i and I can be written as in terms of K as uh, you can say that as I told you here L and BL by 2 so LL got cancelled it was mu naught K by 2 so that's how sorry that's how B is B is derived all right if, if you it, it was just a brief brief review of that example I think Griffith has given some example solved example or this you, you please check uh, so this is the uh, main thing now. Let's calculate. Let's go through our problem first of all So he's saying that we have two uh, Plates here uh, Sorry, the plates are a bit uh, not like this So we have two plates here This one and this one So we have two plates here and he's saying that to, we, we need to calculate this as sigma and this is minus sigma I guess yeah yeah this is sigma and both are moving with velocity v obviously so he's saying that uh, we need to calculate here here and here so first of all uh, I'll, I'll I'll explain you like this suppose we have a uh, plate here which has sigma so on the right side of it we get mu naught k by 2 obviously on the left side of, of it we, we get mu naught k by 2 with the minus sign I'll, I'll take this minus here and similarly if if another uh, and uh, sorry let me draw it here what I can do is I can shift it from here so I'll draw another figure here so this is minus Sigma and uh, if if uh, if we talk if we are if we are talking about the uh, right hand side of this we get mu naught k by 2 but with a negative sign of for this and if we are talking about here mu naught k by 2 
but here positive energy because why because the surface charge uh, current is negative here that's why so in similarly in these cases i'll i'll mention this as a this is b and this is c so in a if we talk about a in a in a we have a uh, i'll write a here like this um, we have a, a magnetic field here mu naught k by 2 due to positive one so it will be positive another magnetic field uh, sorry another uh, yeah another magnetic field on this a will be on which direction the same direction because of this but in negative so they got cancelled the net magnetic field is zero in a now coming to b b in b we have a magnetic field in this direction due to sigma positive one may not k by two positive in this direction and another another uh, uh, you can say that uh, Uh, different uh, magnetic field in this direction mu naught k by 2 with a negative why negative because because of this the same the same one that, that we that we consider here that we consider here only the same one will exist here also because as we know that for upper uh, for uh, above the sheet we got we have magnetic field above uh, outside the sheet for above uh, case we have outside so that's why outside and for below it has we have inside that's why inside for uh, for upper sheet it is inside for lower sheet it is outside so we get mu naught k mu naught k on the net magnetic field is mu naught because this is this was negative and this was positive so and mu naught k where inside why inside because if we resolve it here we get positive that's why uh, uh, we are uh, talking about magnetic field inside because they both uh, 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 polarize in the same direction and we can calculate uh, uh, the magnetic field now coming towards the part number c for c as we see as we see that both are below both are below and uh, one has positive and other has negative that's why p here also zero so uh, only magnetic field exists in between the parallel plate capacitors uh, elsewhere it is zero so that's the conclusion for from part number a now part number b find the magnetic force per unit area on the upper plate in closed direction so magnetic force in it is saying b part so force is integration i cross dl into b this force and we have we are given sigma or uh, for surface charge so we'll con con consider surface charge density k cross uh, b into da or ds i should i should write because da can be confused with the a part yeah ds why ds because i is k dl or k d you can say that k d uh, l dash and one dl from here and other dl from here so it will just become an area sorry this is not dash so it is it is just become like an area so that's why this area and k cross b so this is force he is asking force per unit area so force per unit area is k cross b and what is b we just calculated b for the upper plate b for the upper plate is mu naught mu naught k by 2 and one more k so you get mu naught k square by 2 and the direction for magnetic field upper plate is uh, outside outside the sheet upper sheet uh, so and other thing is if you can uh, if we try to uh, take our formula and we very well I, I, I forgot to mention k sigma v so v is the velocity and sigma is the surface charge so it is sigma square v square by 2 and z cap so this is the force per unit area all right so this is the force per unit area now what he is saying that he is saying at speed v what would the magnetic force balance electric force 
so okay what speed it, it will balance so let's calculate magnetic electric force so electric force fe it is q into e electric force and e for a parallel plate capacitor sheet is very well know that q uh, sigma upon 2 epsilon naught for a for a, a sheet uh, from gauss law i hope you know that so sigma upon 2 epsilon naught so it becomes q into sigma upon 2 epsilon naught and q is sigma da or ds so we get sigma square by 2 epsilon naught sorry that that's epsilon naught and fe so if if we want to compare so let's let's make it a uh, force per unit area this is also force per unit area let's 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 make it force per unit area so uh, we need to balance so if we balance if we balance both of them so mu naught sigma square v square upon 2 is equal to sigma square 2 epsilon naught 2 2 got cancelled and sigma square got cancelled we get mu naught epsilon naught is equal to 1 by v square so v is equal to under root mu naught epsilon naught i hope i think that's equal to c i guess yeah speed of light also so this is the uh, value of uh, value of speed where magnetic field uh, magnetic force per unit area is equal to electric force per unit area so this is the speed uh, that is required answer so that's the solution for this problem i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something how to calculate the main problem the main things are to calculate this thing at right in between and the other thing is to remembering obviously the formula the other thing is these terms and one more formula yeah force uh, formula and then the, these are just for on normal direction stuff you can remember them and this is this is from gauss law this is from previous knowledge so i'll i'll write gauss law here so that's all for this video see you in next video bye bye thank you